So we're going to be, um, welcome to Cayuga's Fall 2021 um, Club Fair. Um, we call it the Student Activities Club Fair, where we have a number of our club advisors joining us um, today to share a little bit about their clubs and what they do and how they function and how you might be able to contact them and um, get involved. Um, I truly believe that student engagement, and, and I'm sure all of you agree with this, uh, at least my, I know my club advisors well, that student engagement is the second component of the overall college experience. It's really important. And a lot of people don't realize that. I think um, it, it would be, it's shameful, sinful even, if you go throughout your whole college um, career area and, then, and, and, and do not get involved with a club or some kind of organization or something that help you develop your skills further. So those of you who are Zoomed in today, um, you know, you are you are future leaders and I hope we can help us pull some other students in um, so they can share and get that experience too. Okay, so first I would like to introduce uh, my first club and that's the, let's see here. Are you Zoomed in lady? She is, okay. Um, we're going to start with the, um, the chorus. Hi, everybody. My name is Erica Walters, and I'm the director of the College Chorus. We meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 11.55 in M157. And though we are a small chorus, we are a mighty chorus, and we do have space for a few more students to join us this semester. And it's not too late. Uh, I will sign your ad drop form if you would like to join us. You do earn one credit for chorus, and you can repeat it up to four times for credit. So you can enjoy singing with the chorus every semester. What's unique about chorus is there is no audition required um, and everyone is welcome. So even if you've never sang in the choir before but you've always wanted to try, we welcome you to join us. Um, even if you think, oh, I'm not a really good singer, come on in, I will help you become a better singer. I would love to do that. And you'll meet some really great people and you'll probably make some lifelong friendships. I know I did. I was a student in the chorus here at Cuga. I'm a graduate of Cuga. And I made some lifelong friends in the chorus and we still are really close. Um, you'll get to energize in the middle of the day. You know, we meet right in the middle of the day. You might be in that midday slump. Come and sing with us. You'll get your blood pumping. You'll make music together. And I guarantee no matter how you're feeling when you walk in the door, you're going to feel better when you walk out. And you're probably going to have more recording in progress. So please join us. Thanks, everyone. Next, are we going to... Greg, Greg, you there? Greg, can you hear me? Uh, sorry, my connection said it was unstable for a second, so I didn't hear you, but okay, uh, yes, am I next? Yes, you are, sir. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, my name is Greg Sevick, uh, and I'm the faculty advisor for the Anime Club. Uh, anime Club, of course, is for enthusiasts of anime and other aspects of Japanese culture. Uh, one thing I'll say is that most of our officers have now moved on, and so we are definitely looking for new blood in terms of people to join the club and even people to help lead the club. Um, so if you're interested in anime, uh, I really encourage you uh, to contact me and, and uh, start getting involved. Um, one of the things uh, th about Anime Club that's worth mentioning is it's, it's a very easygoing club. So um, uh, kind of like Erica was saying about Chorus, we accept everyone. So we accept people um, who are, you know, experts on anime, more or less, but also people who don't know much about anime and just want to learn more. Um, uh, we welcome you to come. It's, it's a great opportunity to, um, to come, uh, see some anime, and also talk to people who know an awful lot about it. Uh, just to give you a sense of the way the club works, um, the main event is essentially getting together and watching anime. So the first part of each meeting um, is a kind of business, um, you know, uh, uh, planning events uh, and things like that. Uh, and then there's a kind of vote at the beginning where everyone decides uh, what we're going to watch. 
and then the rest of the meeting is just hanging out together, watching anime and, and talking about it. So uh, it's a really fun club. Um, we generally meet Friday afternoon. Sometimes the, the time changes a little bit, but it's usually 12.30 or one in the afternoon. So once we get uh, our group of students together, we'll decide uh, exactly when those meetings are gonna be. But traditionally they're Friday afternoons. Uh, and the big event every year is the Toracon anime convention that takes place uh, every spring. Uh, my guess is it will probably be virtual again this year, but certainly it's something that as a club, we can still plan to, to take part in. So um, if you're interested and you want to get involved, uh, you can contact me. My uh, email addre address is gregory.sevic at cayugacc.edu. So um, please contact me and uh, I look forward to meeting some new students who want to be involved in Anime Club. Thank you. And Greg, if you can, and, and this is before the advisors, if you could put your, right after you're done, put your, um, your email in the chat, that probably be helpful as well. Absolutely. Okay, next up we have Art Club, Melissa Johnson. Hi, everybody. I'm Melissa Johnson. Thank you for hosting this, Norm. Hopefully we'll get more students involved. Last year, Art Club continued to meet. Throughout the year, we met in Zoom, which we will do again this year because many of our students aren't right in Auburn, where I'm located. So, and we have a student here today who was very active last year. So I would, I would like to open it up to Amanda Carey. Maybe you can talk about some of the activities we did last year. Hello. Last year, the Art Club did a Metropolitan Museum of Art virtual tour, mm -hmm. which was a virtual tour. We did. We got a woman who worked there, and she was exclusively with our group. She talked with us about different paintings, asked us questions, and we got to choose different things that we wanted to look at uh, when we had extra time at the end. Um, we also did a meeting with an art therapist who we met with in Zoom, and she did some activities with us and went through something that she would do with clients of hers. So we got to learn about that as well. Um, we didn't have very many members last year, so it would be nice to get more people to join this year. Okay. Great, thank you, Amanda. And many of, many of you, I think, benefited from Amanda's talent. And um, Amanda won the Earth Day Bag Design Challenge. So I know a lot of you have Amanda's artwork on your tote bag. So that was a great thing last year and um, people are very happy to have those. We'll do that again. And we also did a few virtual info sessions with possible, there's one now, Greg Savick is holding <laughs> up. Awesome. Yeah. And we did some virtual information sessions with possible transfer schools, uh, SUNY Oswego, the art program there, Casanova College, SU, and Massachusetts College of Art and Design. So that's also something I'd like to continue this year to really try to help students who are interested in transferring maybe into the art and art field, our program to consider different um, possible transfer options in the region. So I hope anyone who's interested will consider joining. At the moment, our plan is to meet Wednesdays at 11 in Zoom starting next week. I will be sharing that Zoom link, but you can also please get in touch with me. Here's my information. So thanks, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Melissa. Um, and just also want to share that uh, we do have club um, a club brochure that has um, all the clubs that are um, available um, to the campuses. I'm gonna send that out to students um, as a, kind of a, a screenshot of it so you have that information, but you know, you can know, also grab one at the front tables of each campus if you're on campus. Um, I do have them also outside my door. I'm, I'm located um, in the cafeteria area at the, Fulton, at the, excuse me, at the Auburn campus. So you can grab it outside my door as well. Um, and next, I'd like to write up the Cayuga Collegian, uh, Mary Merritt, to share a few words.
Um, hi. <laughs> We're looking for new people to join it. We do have a lot of people that are interested and we're having a meeting today at 1.30, so if anybody is interested in joining, we would love if they would come to that in room T109. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, next up is uh, Cayuga Records. There we go. <laughs> the tunes. So that's just a little snippet of um, Glass Image. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Mike Cortese, and myself, uh, Jeff Says, and Doug Brill, the advisors for Cayuga Records. Um, for the fall, we'll be meeting um, on Mondays at 2 p.m. in M157, which is in the basement of the main building. Um, we'll be discussing and planning um, our uh, two EP recordings that we normally do throughout the academic year. Um, and we'll be planning our EP recordings for the spring 22 semester. So um, in that process, we'll be listening to a lot of um, artist submissions and then making decisions on which two artists we're going to move forward. Um, and what we typically do in Cuga Records is we record, edit, and mix a professional uh, EP, which is four to six um, songs. And, um, and then the following uh, fall, we will host a CD release event at the Auburn Public Theater in which the um, performers of the two EPs will give a live performance and have CDs for sale at the, that event. So I would urge you to if, uh, reach out to me. I'll put my email in the chat section here. And um, again, that was Glass Image. We actually press, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably because it has plastic on it, but uh, press actual physical CDs um, and as well as offer streaming options. So it's a nice, it's a fun club to get involved in. in um, we uh, have fun recording the artists and um, it's a great way to see the, the, the uh, kind of creative process from beginning to end. So um, again, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll, I'll, I'll put my email in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, Criminal Justice. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Terry Mashashik. Uh, I am the faculty uh, advisor for Criminal Justice Club. Um, last year, we had most of our club members uh, graduate, which is a good thing. Um, so we are pretty much starting pretty fresh. So we will be getting our CJ Club up and going on both campuses via Zoom. Uh, right now, we're looking at Wednesdays uh, from 11 to uh, about 11.50, uh, so you can have time to get to your next class. Um, and if we need to, we can play around with that time, whatever the club members. We do lots of activities, a lot of community activities. Um, for example, on in October, it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, we work with the wellness uh, group and students uh, to place pinwheels out on the front lawn. We have lectures uh, from the professionals in the field. And once we're able to, uh, we try to get out into the community and visit uh, the various field uh, professional sites, such as jails, uh, courtrooms, as well as police agencies. So I hope you can join us. Um, you do not have to be a criminal justice uh, student, uh, you just have to have an interest in uh, the justice system. And hopefully we'll see you soon. I'll put my contact information in um, the chat box here. I'm on the Auburn campus on Tuesdays and Fulton campus on Thursdays. Uh, so hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Terry. Next up is early childhood. Um, Penny? Hi, I'm Penny Lupo. I'm the faculty advisor for the Early Childhood Club. Um, the club is, last year we had just a few members, um, really just four is what we could get um, because things are virtual. This club is, is formed to help support students um, working together to help support our community. 
One of the projects we hope to work on is helping our child care center with the um, interest in um, their playground that they're trying to formulate down there. Um, one of the things that we do, we would probably meet between 11 and 12, Monday or Wednesday weekly, depending upon student interest, most likely through Zoom, unless the number is low enough. Um, things that the club has done in the past, um, I know that they do have tutoring, to, I'm not tutoring, they work together as study groups, sorry. Um, and then they also have worked together to collect money for different projects. Um, they attend conferences on occasion together. Um, they can uh, work together on collecting when we're making activities. They, uh, my understanding is they've worked together a lot to um, purchase the items and then make the things together for their classes and then learn about current issues and help advocate for early childhood in the community and in the country in general. So I will put my information in the chat box. If anyone is interested, please join. You do not have to be an early childhood education student to join. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, next up, and just to share guys, um, there we, we do have more clubs. I'm actually skipping a couple over because we don't have either the advisor um, is not in the Zoom or for whether they're teaching or something along that line or, um, we basically, the, the club right now might be currently inactive for another of the reasons. So um, moving along, the next uh, person I'd like to invite is the Engineering Tech Club. Good morning. Um, our club actually is going to meet, um, I meet virtually, and I actually am on campus on Monday, Tuesday with the engineering group. So uh, we're going to actually have our meetings on Monday with the sophomores. And then once in a while on Tuesday, we're going to have a mini meeting with the freshmen because they're face to face. We're also going to do virtual like Zoom meetings when we do the Monday meeting. So that's our plan. And what I'd like to do is introduce uh, Philip McDonald. He's on here, too. So, Phil, you can turn your video and audio on. And say yes, okay. sir. <laughs> yep. So Phil, Phil was elected uh, president last uh, semester. So he's going to be the active president. And I'm also going to have something interesting. I'm going to set up Phil with his own uh, Zoom meetings on Friday, Sundays. So some of the some of the students can kind of socialize with them. And that's mm -hmm. what we're going to try to do as an outreach, right. kind of a creative thing. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to take some virtual tours through the Syracuse chapter of manufacturing engineers, chapter 19. And we're going to actually do some virtual tours of companies and then I got a tour I'm setting up specifically for our group my brother is a tool and die maker at the General Motors Tonawanda plant and they already got video and he's going to do an audio virtual tour for my my group as soon as the tours start opening we might do some physically but I know that's an issue with all this COVID and that's it so um, my information is pretty well posted it's in the club brochure, but I'll post it on this chat too. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, next, I'd like to invite up Kelly Raleigh um, from the Gaming Club. Hi, Norm. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, I'm from the Gaming Club. And, uh, you know, we meet um, Thursdays, three to five most uh, weeks. Uh, the Gaming Club is just one of those opportunities for you to um, relax after your classes or get together and socialize. Um, we're working on that socialization, socializing over Zoom and working about um, trying to get small groups to perhaps do some board games. Gaming um, does a lot of different things. Uh, it's usually up to the students. Um, we have had uh, Dungeon and Dragon campaigns going um, through the semester, a couple of them going at a time. You can be, we ran um, new campaigns for the novice and ones for experienced players. Uh, other things that students like um, is just like to bring out the old board game. Sometimes it's nice to play um, something like uh, Trouble or card games is another thing. Um, not only just uh, with face cards, but Magic the Gathering um, has been a big part of the gaming club. Um, other things that we do is, of course, um, uh, other aspects are video games, and we've held tournaments um, in video games and had a number of different rooms 
um, where um, we just set up the brackets and played against each other. So we're quite an active one, um, a group, and uh, you know, we're trying to meet the challenge of doing this Zoom. Um, we've been engaging with some online gaming, um, simple things like Among Us to more complicated um, you know, first person games. So uh, if you're interested, uh, come to our first meeting. Uh, it's uh, tomorrow uh, from three to five on Zoom. I'll put my email up and I'll send you the link and uh, just come and find out. Um, we're like most of you, we're also looking for new officers because a lot of our officers have, have moved on and we're looking for some more people to, um, you know, take this and and uh, take in the direction that is, um, you know, most interest to them. So I um, hope to see some of you tomorrow. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and just uh, to share with everyone, um, some of the clubs that we have, um, the, the clubs are either Auburn campus or Fulton campus, but at this time, because we're mostly virtual, it makes sense that we're basically just all the clubs are functioning together and any student um, can join, whether it's a, a Fulton-based campus club and they're at the, or mostly at the Auburn campus or vice versa. Um, especially this year due to COVID and uh, with the, um, the low numbers um, that we have right now going on. Um, so um, I also wanted to share that um, the student government elections, we actually have an, um, a great student board, board possibility right now. They're all candidates. Um, we are just missing one position, which is uh, student, um, excuse me, the uh, the treasurer, that's the one we're missing. We're missing the treasurer at this time. So if there's, if there's anyone who, a student who's who's um, in Zoom right now, who might be interested, please let me know. Um, the deadline is now. It was actually Monday, but I'm opening it up so we can um, uh, see if we can get a, a treasurer. And then we, we have a complete board that will be running with the election starting Thursday, um, tomorrow. And Thursday and Friday is going to be election. That information will be sent out to students via email. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to share, and then I'll start getting into it. I got a couple of clubs to talk about. Um, is I just really would hope that you know, with the time that we're experiencing these unusual times, that I think it's important that um, this is club advisors and um, students who are zoomed in and students who are not zoomed in that we need to really kind of support each other through all of this together in terms of like the events and programs that we're having um, just because we might be just you know I just doing student activities or I might be doing this other event um, I need to also support all of you in that respect and I, I hope that um, that goes along the way for you as well doing that for um, everyone who's um, in the zoom and, and beyond that. Um, okay, so next I'd like to talk about and share um, one of the clubs that I'm an advisor for. I have a couple to talk about, and I'll make it brief because I do have a few. Um, the first one is the National Society of Leadership and Success. The National Society of Leadership and Success, we, um, we created a chapter here about five years ago. Um, I, I was introduced to a person who was a contact person, one of the representatives at a conference that I attended. Um, somebody connected me, one of my colleagues from another school connected me with this person, said, hey, do you want to speak to this person? I was like, not really. The school, I don't think the students are going to be interested. And well, I gave it a shot and um, students responded. Um, the NSLS uh, became one of the biggest um, um, student involved clubs on campus. And that's the way, that's why it continues today. Um, it's, um, it's a fee to join a club. Um, it's a lifetime membership. And um, honestly, what I see students getting out of it from the years that I've been um, advisor for it is I really see that students get, um, are able to build up their skill sets um, being involved in this organization. And it's a lifelong um, treatment of that with um, resume assistance and support, job search, they, they receive that kind of support. So um, if you're interested at all in the National Society for Leadership Success, which is, uh, um, I think, one of our only virtual online clubs. It went virtual in 2019, so it's totally online. Um, so just let me know. All right. The next club I'd like to talk about is the Student Activities Board. The Student Activities Board is the campus's biggest programming body. And what I mean by that, and it's not in terms of numbers, but this is the club that pretty much programs a lot of different events for the entire campus community. And just to share... This is our current fall calendar of events. Um, we have a pretty um, pretty solid um, schedule for the semester. 
everything is virtual. Um, we had our first event on Monday. Um, the information table, I don't consider it an event, but that's something we did um, or I started and created. But we had our first event on Monday was navigating online courses. And that was really um, well attended by students. And I actually was shocked about that. Um, then yesterday, also, we had a virtual program, the Constitution and Citizen Day. A lot of people don't know, but there is a Constitution Day that we have to celebrate. It's a federal mandate. The actual day is this Friday is the Constitutional Day. We did something and the schools have to report what they're doing for it. So that was one of the programs that we've done. In the past, we've handed out um, um, copies of the Constitution and so on and um, to uh, like little pamphlets, information like that. Student government sit at tables, does, have done surveys. We've shown videos and different um, constitutional things. So we try to mix it up. All right. The next thing I like to talk about in the club is, is the student government organization. The student government organization um, is the body that basically um, works with all clubs and disperse the activity fee monies that we all receive um, from that activity uh, fees that you pay um, to the institution. Um, so the student government is pretty much the, the student voice body they do represent the student voice. Um, on that board, a big part of that is the student trustee, who is one of the um, students who will attend the trustees meeting of the college and they're part of that. Um, so it's really um, it, it's a really important body um, and connect the students and and basically just represent the students and, and, and assist them in any ways they can in terms of making the campus um, better for all of us and especially for our students. Okay, that's all the clubs that I had. Um, next up, I'd like to invite, let's see, Emily, Veterans Club. Hi, everyone. I uh, guess we have our um, Veterans Club both on our, uh, we're, we are doing it through Zoom. So uh, we welcome both Auburn and Fulton Campus students to join us. Um, the Veterans Club is not just for uh, veteran or military affiliated students. It really is for anyone who would like to do programming to support um, our military affiliated uh, students, as well as the community. Um, <laughs> some things that we've done in the past are, um, we've been involved with our Veterans Week, which we do host on the campus each um, each fall, and we celebrate the week around Veterans Day. Um, prior to COVID, we had um, uh, a chili cook-off and a dessert cook-off and some fun things that we really enjoy doing this fundraising efforts. So um, if anybody is interested in participating, um, we are going to have our first meeting um, September 27th at 11 via Zoom. And you're welcome to reach out to me and I'd be happy to um, send you the link. And or, or any questions in general, please let me know. And um, we'd love to have you be a part of it. Thank you, Emily. And I skipped one and I apologize and that's because I was just going over so many different clubs there. Um, actually, I'd like to invite up now Radio Television Gate, Back Guild. Are you guys there? I saw Steve. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Thanks, Norm. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Keeler. I'm the advisor for the Radio and Television Guild. Um, we work with uh, all our media students and provide them with opportunities uh, to have professional guest speakers come in. Uh, we visit uh, radio stations, television stations, recording studios, production facilities um, for both face-to-face -face and virtual tours. Uh, we do social activities like virtual game nights, movie nights, um, and we have a trip to New York City planned um, in the spring, depending on COVID restrictions. Um, and it's a great group if you're interested in radio and television or anything to do with media. We meet uh, Wednesdays uh, from 11 to 12 on Zoom and in T229. So we do high flex meetings this year. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate that. Um, and I kind of got an order, so I'm just going to go to the next one. Sheila, I see your Zoom then. Did you want to um, share? You're muted, Sheila. Hi, everyone. I put my information, uh, if you scroll back up on the chat, um, I'm the co-advisor on the Auburn campus for the Auburn chapter of the PTK National Honor Society. 
and you would have gotten an invitation to join the society probably in the in the past week or so. PTK is the National Honor Society with its um, a dues paying organization. Once you're a member, you're always a member and you have to have a GPA of 3.5 or above, a cumulative GPA to be invited. Uh, we do have a scholarship offered by our foundation to help pay the costs of membership for up to 18 students. And we are going to be um, having meetings this year in person. We ask that you RSVP because we are limited to 10 people attending a meeting. So we do need officers as well. And we're gonna be meeting in M321 every other Monday starting September 27th. We probably will be doing community service projects with Habitat for Humanity this year. Uh, if we get enough students involved and uh, we've got some other ideas for projects around campus. So if you have any questions, you can email me. Dr. Bowers, you're up. And Christine, Christina. All right. Um, I'm Jeremy. I'm actually one part of your health crew here in uh, Kiwi Community College. Here is my, my colleague, Christina Bentley. Hi, and everybody. We actually have a, we have a few clubs. One that's been up and running the most here at Cuga, uh, we're advisors for SAGA, which is, is the Sexuality and Gender, actually it's been changed, the name Sexuality and Gender Alliance is what students came up with um, last time that we met. Uh, unfortunately, with all the clubs that we're gonna talk about, we don't have any officers at this point. All of our officers have graduated. Um, so we're looking at a clean slate here, which is great for you. I uh, wanna get involved in that. But uh, Sexuality and Gender Acceptance is a club uh, for anyone who's interested in LGBTQ plus issues. You don't have to be um, in the LGBTQ community uh, to join. You can be an ally, you can be an interested person. Everyone's welcome. Um, some of the things we've done in the past, everything from tabling uh, on issues to inviting speakers to the first uh, one October, um, many moons ago, but uh, so we could do a lot of fun things for that. Uh, the second is uh, a club that uh, we just got up and running before COVID and then surprise COVID hit us, but uh, we are actually affiliated with the National and State NAMI, um, National Alliance for Mental Illness. Those who are interested in that subject, um, whether you want to be a counselor or you're just really interested for a variety of reasons in that, um, you can join anyone. Again, it's open to anyone. Um, it does, and, and I know that this is not the sole reason for joining our club, but it really does look good if you're going on in those professions to have that background. Um, and we tried to start one here. Um, again, COVID was not our friend at this point, um, called Phoenix. And we had some students who were interested in starting a club for students in recovery from substance abuse. Again, uh, anyone who is in recovery, anyone who's interested in recovery, anyone who's interested in the field in general, just wants to be a support is welcome. So all those clubs, uh, I put our information in the in the chat. You can reach us, and because we don't have any members yet, um, it's open. So uh, whatever you decide, and I think you probably heard a really good theme that's running through this whole uh, meeting today. If you're a student, is a couple of things. Number one, this is a great chance to get involved in campus. I went to CCC myself. Um, the one thing that I regret is I didn't get more involved. So I really encourage you not to make that same error that I did, get involved as, as much as you can. Um, and that, you know, these clubs really do connect you closer to campus. So if we can help you, um, let us know, give us, shoot us an email, and we work for you or your advisor. So you decide what comes out of this club. So let's make it a good one to share. Well, thank you everyone um, for, um participating. I just want to make sure I didn't, I didn't skip anyone. Did I miss anyone? Because I did do mine all of mine at the same time. So I, then I, I lost my track. So I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anyone. Uh, the radio station, WDWN. Jeff is here. There we go. Hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Sesniak, the advisor to the college radio station. Uh, we're in the basement of the tech building and on the Auburn campus. Uh, we're open to all students. So if you're interested in getting on the radio and learning uh, the art of presenting music or curating a radio program, uh, feel free to come down here. I put my email in the chat and get a hold of me and uh, we can take it from there. Cool. Thanks. 
Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Jeremy. All right. Um, thank you all for participating in our club fair. Um, I just want to encourage you to um, look at your emails because that's the only way we're communicating these days. And um, if you don't look at your email, then you don't know. And we don't get anyone to show up for the things that we're doing. So please look at your emails. Um, support each other. Um, today, I'm not supposed to announce it, but it's just at the Auburn campus. We do have an ice cream truck coming. You didn't hear me say that, though, because it's not supposed to be advertised. All right. So, But we have an ice cream truck coming at 1 o'clock. Um, and you can have your ice cream. We just want to encourage you to eat it outside and before you come back in. And, um, and please look for um, a lot of the events and programs we have coming up. Uh, we do have a virtual program scheduled for Monday, September 20th. It's, a it's part of our technology series, and it's using technology and smart devices, using technology to assist you, tricks and shortcuts to assist you in the classroom. So, and that's um, for students, and it can be for advisors as well. Please participate in that. Um, information will be sent out um, shortly, um, later on, uh, later today. I know I scheduled an a, a email to go out. So. Um, with that, I'd like to wish you all um, a good week, rest of the week, well, um, what's left of it, and um, please be safe. Record.